What's going on, lads and lasses? Welcome back to 100% Mercs. So, of course, England take on Spain tomorrow night, 8 o'clock kickoff in Germany, in Berlin for the Euro 2024 final. This is it. It is the climax of Euro 2024. This is a chance for England to finally seal a victory in a major tournament. Coming home with the trophy for hopefully the first time since 1966 since England won in a major international tournament. Hopefully this is it. Uh, you know, England bringing football home. And I've got to say, I'm fully back in the lads. They've played really well uh, when you look at just, you know, away from what Southgate's been doing with the tactics and everything like that. You know, and you just look at how the players have played their drive, their motivation, uh, you know, to get to this final has been really, really good. Um, there's been some outstanding individual performances as well from the likes of Bellingham, Saka, um, you know, Anthony Gordon only got a couple of minutes in uh, the tournament, but he, he showed an absolutely fantastic um ability you know when he did get them a few minutes in the tournament and hopefully we do get to see anthony gordon as well uh play from the off tomorrow night but i'm not going to hold my breath on that of course but i'd love for southgate to prove us wrong uh you know and anthony gordon to be given a start in the game against spain it's going to be a tough one don't get us wrong uh, you know, Spain have been no slouches in this tournament. They have been a really good side, but we haven't been no slouches neither. Uh, we've put in some really good uh, performances as well. You know, like I say, some fantastic individual performances from the likes of Bellingham, Saka, uh, Anthony Gordon and so on. You know, so it's going to be a really good game. Uh, it's going to be an entertaining game. What would really need to do in my opinion is from the off we need to get a goal early if we can get that goal early against spain then that stops spain from being able to play their style of play that they're comfortable with you know that ability that they've got where they just like to take a calm cool approach to their football they like to play a similar style to what pep guardiola plays uh, with man city you know where they like to play that tiki taka style of football now, if we can score a goal early, then that will stop Spain from being able to do that because then Spain will have to come out. They'll have to be aggressive. They'll have to be more front foot uh, with their approach to the game. They won't be able to sit back. They won't be able to take their time. And they won't be able to, you know, um, absorb our attack in that way. Uh, they'll have to come out and they'll have to be aggressive about it if we score early against them so hopefully we can score early in this game against spain and force them into doing that because then that allow us to have the likes of um you know bakayo saka running down the wing uh if anthony gordon starts then you'll have gordon running down the other wing that is absolutely lightning fast then you'll have you know jude bellingham running through that center uh in the cam roll then hopefully you know, obviously it's going to be Harry Kane, but it would be nice to see maybe Ollie Watkins in there instead of Harry Kane or Ivan Tony in there instead of Harry Kane. But we know it's going to be Harry Kane, obviously. But it would be nice to see, you know, maybe it's Ivan Tony in there uh, because he offers a little bit more of a balanced approach between the other two uh, strikers in Harry Kane and Ollie Watkins. And then... If you don't want to go with Ivan Tony, you do have the Ollie Watkins approach where he's got the pace uh, side. And, of course, look what he did, you know, in the matter of moments that he was on the field in the last game. You know, so maybe Southgate may think about putting Ollie Watkins in uh, from the off, but I think he will probably go with Harry Kane, to be honest. Um, he has went with Harry Kane for the most part throughout the entire tournament from the off and then... You know, made the substitution of either Ivan Tony or Ollie Watkins in. Uh, but it's going to be a tough game. Don't get us wrong. It will be a tough game. It's not going to be a walk in the park, this one. 
we're going to have to be at our absolute best. We're going to have to show that same sort of fire and intensity that we showed in the game against the Dutch to be able to come away from this victorious and, of course, allow us England fans to say them absolutely brilliant words, which I will not say on this video because uh, I don't want to jinx it. Uh, but when we finally get of course that chance to win then them words will be said by so many England fans uh, because we have been waiting for this for a very long time especially people of my age group uh, and people of course that were born after 1966 as well uh, who never ever got a witness England lifting a trophy at a major tournament so this is a massive massive moment in our country's history hopefully the lads can do it i'm absolutely certain that they can and i'm going to go with a score prediction of course of england to come away 2-1 winners against spain and of course the last time we played spain was on the 15th of october 2018 england won that game in the uefa nations league in spain 3-2 Hopefully, we can go out there, of course, tomorrow night in Berlin, in the capital of Germany, and come away as the Euro 2024 winners. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, remember, hit like, share, subscribe to the channel as well. I'm on the road to 2.5k subscribers, and I can only get there with the support from you guys. Uh, until next time, I'll see you all for the next one. Oh,